I'm Andy Summers and I have been ranger here in Assent in the Northwest Highlands for oh, 22 years I think. Uh, I'm also the senior ranger for North Highlands for High Life Highland. I'm passionate about wildlife and that's what I'm trying to do is to instill that passion, that enthusiasm, that uh, inspiration that nature gives us all. I love walking along the strand line because you never know what you're going to find and look just here we find which looks like a wee papery mass of we don't know what. It actually is an egg case of a common whelk which is a big mollusk or land snail or so not sea snail rather out at sea and it lays these big mass of eggs which they attach then to the, the bottom of the sea and so out of there you've probably got I don't know thousands and thousands of wee tiny uh, snails have, have appeared and that's just what's left behind that papery mass of the common whelk. Finding everything today. Look, this is a this is a oh, bit of a sea urchin. And their mouth is at the bottom here and they have five teeth which come out and the five teeth then scrape the, the, the seaweed and they take it back into their mouth and that's how they feed. They can walk along the bottom. One thing they like to eat them is otters, um, starfish as well. So occasionally you get the, the, just the remains. This is really just the exoskeleton of a sea urchin. So here we've got tracks, a very recent tracks of an otter has been coming down into the sea. They're very easy to tell the tracks because they've got five toes rather than the dog, so they've got four toes. The otter, this part of the world, will feed along the, the, the sea line, sea line looking for butterfish and thing, anything they can find, and then they go back up and they'll eat fresh water to clean themselves. So every, about every hundred yards you get around the coastline here, you come across these wee green mounds and this is what they call an otter mound because the otters will come along and they'll do their sprint, they'll do their droppings there. So we know an otter has been here, this is probably maybe uh, a day or two old, an otter has been passed here. And they use these sprint posts to signal to each other, to communicate with each other who's been there. It's packed with information, if only we were an otter we could read that. one of my uh, special places because you can see these lazy beds really really well. They're actually probably made um, sort of 1850 sort of time. Far from being lazy there was a lot of work went into this because they're trying to make the soil deeper so they can plant potatoes or different crops. Um, so the township of Clacktall would have been all around the coast here and they would have had to use every little bit of inch of ground they could to grow crops, to grow hay, uh, uh, potatoes and uh, barley, beer barley is what they grew as well. So a lot of people think in the sandstone because it's so old there's no fossils but actually there is fossils and it's fossil algae it's called stromatolites and this is one of the best places to see these stromatolites it's very very important on the evolution of the earth because it took in carbon and uh, give off oxygen, change the whole atmosphere of the, the earth. So although it doesn't much to look like, it's these wee wavy lines running through the through the sandstone. So this one here probably is about, as I say, about a billion years old, these fossil uh, stromatolites. Well, the Ranger Service works under the operation of the charity High Life Highland. We rely on donations for our events and things like that. So if you're coming up to the Highlands and want to get involved in a guided walk or with the Ranger Service, please consider giving a donation uh, to our work and it'll go back to helping the wildlife in this area.